To balance this equation, copper 2 sulfate plus silver nitrate yields silver sulfate plus copper 2 nitrate. Let's add up the atoms on each side of the equation. We have the one copper here, and then because I have an SO4 here, and there's SO4 on this side, I'm just going to count the SO4 as just one item. It's the sulfate ion. So we're going to count it as one thing, and I'm going to put a 1 here for the SO4. We have one silver, and same thing with nitrate. I have the NO3 here, and then there's an NO3 here. So I'm just going to count one of those over here. Over on the product side, I have one copper. I have the one sulfate. And then I have these two silvers. And then for the NO3, I have two times the one NO3. So I have two of the nitrate ions, the NO3 ions. So now that I've done that, I've counted very quickly all of the atoms up in this equation. I can get to balancing it. I have two silver atoms here and one here. I'll just put a two as my coefficient in front of the AgNO3. That'll apply to everything. So I have one times two. That'll give me two silver atoms. And the NO3, I have one of those times the two. That'll give me two of those nitrate ions, those NO3s. And once I've done that, I can see that everything's the same on each side of the equation. And we're done. We've balanced this equation. The key here, if you have an SO4 group, a polyatomic ion like this, on both sides, you can just count it as one thing. That really speeds things up. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for CuSO4 plus AgNO3 yields Ag2SO4 plus CuNO3 2. And thanks for watching.